Hi guys, it's Miss Sophia from Miss Hua's English Communication Centre. We're back today with our speaking and listening series. And in this series, we'll be learning a hundred common English adjectives. In our first video today, we'll be learning 20 new adjectives about appearance. Are you ready to get going? Let's go! How would you describe yourself? Are you tall or short? Are you fat or thin? Do you have long hair or short hair? And are you old or young? There are lots of different body types. So the first set of adjectives we'll learn today will describe different body shapes and sizes. Slim. Curvy. Overweight. Stocky. Gangly. Beefy. Ripped. Have you heard any of these words before? And do you know what they mean? Now it's time to match the adjectives to their correct definition. So let's read through the definitions and see if we can guess which word matches the correct one. Sometimes it describes a woman with a thin waist and wide hips. And sometimes it is used as a euphemism to mean fat. Short with a wide body. Heavier than a healthy weight. Muscular with clear muscle definition. Very tall with long limbs and an awkward posture. A positive word for thin. A compliment. And finally, lots of muscles usually used to describe a man. So let's match those words to their correct definition. So let's look at the first definition. Sometimes it describes a woman with a thin waist and wide hips. It is also sometimes used as a euphemism for fat. So you must be careful when using this word. This word is curvy. Our next definition is short with a wide body. What do you think this could be? That's right, it's stocky. Stocky. Our next definition is heavier than a healthy weight. Which of these words could that be? That's right, it's overweight. Muscular with clear muscle definition. This word is ripped. Very tall with long limbs and an awkward posture. The adjective we'd use here is gangly. A positive word for thin. A compliment. This of course is slim. And our last definition, lots of muscles usually used to describe a man. And this word is beefy. Now, here are those definitions matched up for you. So let's run through those together. Slim, slim. Slim is a positive word for thin and is often used as a compliment. Curvy. Curvy. Curvy has a few different meanings. It can mean a woman with a small waist and wide hips, but can be also used as a euphemism for fat. Overweight. 
overweight. This simply means heavier than a healthy weight. Stocky. Stocky. This means you are short with a wide body. Gangly. Gangly. This means you are ungracefully tall, a little awkward and have long limbs. Beefy. Beefy. This word is normally used to describe a man and means he has lots and lots of muscles. And our final word is ripped. Ripped. This means you are muscular with clear muscle definition. Now we've learned what they mean, let's put those words into practice. Listen to the following clip and determine whether these statements are true or false. My mum is quite tall and slim and my dad is really gangly. But for some reason, my body shape is much more curvy. Let's read the following three statements and decide which ones are true and false. Her mum is tall and slim. That's right, this is of course true. Her dad is ripped. This is not correct. Her dad isn't ripped. Her dad is gangly. And the final statement, the girl is stocky. This is also false. The girl describes herself as curvy. Our next set of adjectives describe how attractive someone may be to you or how appealing they are to look at. The definitions are already lined up with the correct adjective but there are some letters missing. Can you fill in the blanks so we can match up the correct definition? The first word is stunning. Stunning means extremely attractive, even more than beautiful. She is stunning. The second word is handsome. This means good looking and is usually used to describe a man. He looks so handsome today. The third word is cute. Cute means attractive and pleasing in a non-threatening way. So this word is often used to describe babies or kittens. So, oh, my new kitten is so cute. The next word is hot. This means that the person you are talking about is attractive to you in a sexual way. So, if you really like someone and you'd like to go out with them, you could say, he's so hot. The next word is Fit. Fit means very attractive. But in this way, it's important to remember it does not mean the same as physically fit. Somebody could be physically unfit, but to you, they are very attractive, so you think they are fit. I went on a date with a stunning girl last week. She was so fit. And the last word is not a positive adjective, it's a little bit negative. This is rough. And this is a British slang word we use for someone looking very ugly. Okay, let's take a look at those words again. Stunning. Handsome. 
cute, hot, fit, and rough. So which words from our list would you use to describe Channing Tatum or this kitten? You may say, I think he is so handsome. Have you seen this kitten? It is so cute. Cute is the only word in this list that we would use to describe the kitten. But for Channing Tatum, we may use handsome, hot or fit. Any of the ones that you like best, you could use to describe him. Of course, you may think he's very ugly and say, oh no, I think he looks rough. It's all down to preference. Now, let's run through those new adjectives and their definitions once again. Stunning. Stunning. This means extremely attractive and is even more complimentary than beautiful. Handsome. Handsome. This means very good looking and is often used to describe a man. Cute. Cute. This means something or someone is attractive in a pleasing and non-threatening way. So we often use this word to describe babies, puppies or kittens. Hot. Hot. This means you think someone is very attractive in a sexual way. Fit. Fit. This is someone that you think is very good looking and is not to be confused with physically fit, which has a different meaning. Rough. Rough. This is a British slang word we would use to describe someone that we think is very ugly. Now, let's listen to the following clip and answer the questions. How did your date go the other night? Ah, it went really well. She was so friendly and absolutely stunning. How did yours go? Not so great, actually. He looked really fit in his photos, but pretty rough in real life. The boy described his date using one of the following words. A. Cute. B. Hot. Or C. Stunning. That's right, it was C. Stunning. Number two. The girl describes her date using the word A. Handsome B. Rough or C. Hot. Fantastic. She says he looks rough. Now, let's look at these words and try and match them to the pictures here. Curly. Wavy, straight, bald, graying, youngish, elderly, in her mid to late forties. These words are used to describe hair and age. So let's see if we can match them to their correct pictures. Curly hair is in spirals. So this girl has curly hair. Wavy hair isn't straight but isn't curly. It's somewhere in between. So this girl has wavy hair. Straight hair is when the hair has no kinks or curls. So this girl has straight hair. Bald means you have no hair. So this man is bald. Graying means your hair is starting to go gray. So this girl's hair 
is greying. Young-ish means you are not young, but you are not old. You are somewhere in between. So we'd say, this girl is youngish. Elderly means old people. So someone may be of your grandparents' age. So they would be elderly. In her mid to late 40s describes a woman that would be somewhere between around 45 and 50. This woman is in her mid to late 40s. Now let's look at the vocabulary for hair and age. Curly. Wavy. Straight. Bald. Graying. Youngish. Elderly. And in her mid to late. You can put any number here and also can you can change the pronoun to his. So if you wanted to describe a man in his mid thirties, you could say he's in his mid to late thirties. Now, let's take a look at those definitions and practice saying the words together. Curly. Curly. This means the hair is growing in spirals. She has very curly hair. It's so bouncy and beautiful. Wavy. Wavy. This is hair that grows in waves. It is somewhere between straight and curly. Straight. Straight. This simply means hair with no kinks or curls. It is straight. Bold. Bold. This means no hair at all. Youngish. Youngish. You'd use this adjective to describe someone that is not very young, but is not very old. Hopefully you would say, Miss Sophia, you looks youngish. Elderly. Elderly. This is used to describe an old person. So maybe you'd say, my grandfather is 85. He is an elderly man. In her mid to late. In her mid to late 30s. You use this when talking about someone's age range, when you are not sure of how old they are exactly. Now, let's take a listen to the next clip and see if the following statements are true or false. My grandmother is a lovely woman. She has beautiful curly hair. I think that's why mine is curly too. My uncle Matthew is in his mid to late 50s. When I was younger, he had wavy black hair, but now he is bald. A. Her grandmother has curly hair. B. Her grandmother has straight hair. Or C. Her grandmother is bald. The true statement, of course, is her grandmother has curly hair. And that's why she says she thinks her hair is curly too. Now let's look at the second lot of statements and see which of these statements are true or false. A. Her uncle is bald. B. Her uncle is greying. Or C. Her uncle is in his mid to late 50s. The answers of course are her uncle is bald and her uncle is in his mid to late 50s. I hope you got them right. Now, it's time to practice using some of the words we've learned today. 
So you can talk about body type, hair, a weight. There are lots of different ways to describe people. So to practice, talk about your best friend. Describe them. What's their body type? What's their age range? What's their hair like? And do you think they are attractive? So if I was to describe my best friend, I would say my best friend's name is Helena. She's short and slim. She's in her mid to late twenties. Her hair is wavy and blonde. She has beautiful blue eyes. I think she is stunning. You can use lots of other words to describe your friends. Maybe one of your friends is gangly. Maybe they are stocky. Or maybe they love the gym and they are really ripped. When describing one's appearance, it's important to remember that weight is sometimes a sensitive subject. So be careful of the adjectives you use when talking about someone's weight. That's the end of our first video in our 100 Common English Adjective series. I hope these adjectives on appearance are useful to you next time you'd like to describe someone. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. Bye bye. Miss Hoa giao tiếp, độc quyền phương pháp phản xạ truyền cảm hứng.